John Hinchliffe, the man from the Platinum Omnibus, and I've decided that I'm going to attempt to launch a tennis ball from my Mark I, number three, the Enfield. Here's my collection of uh, older rifles, and we have shovel carbine, we have Italian Cacano, we have the French heap of whatever, we have Japanese, we have a, a Mauser, German Mauser, we have American Garand, all hit with a modern sight. Um, we have a late war number four. Is it number four? I don't know. I'm not an expert. This is yeah, should be on the wall, not a good one. Um, we have the Russian, what's in the gap? Really heavy Zulu war, but this is the one we're looking for. Here it is. This is number one Mark III Lenfield, um, adapted for use as a grenade launcher. Hence the windings on here, which are to stop it from blowing up, uh, as the uh, grenade takes a bit longer to leave the leave the barrel than a bullet does, so the pressures are slightly greater. First of all, that's interesting. First thing I have to do is something you've probably never seen. I'm going to take the bolt out, and here, believe it or not, I have an insert for this rifle. There we are. Look at that. A .22 barrel that goes inside the Enfield, uh, but obviously I can't fire that. Can't fire a grenade with the 2 2, so that's going to have to go. Well, note the special bolt which has an off center pin for firing the 22 caliber thing. Other than that, it's a standard bolt. And the awkward thing about it is it's got a little cutout for where the extractor goes, but there's nothing to stop it spinning, so you have to locate it pretty accurately in the barrel, get the bolt home before you do the nut open. Oops, the nut on the end of the barrel that holds it all together. Now one of the great things about living in the USA is that uh, my natural right to self-defense and to keep and bear arms is not infringed. Well it is, but not as much as it is everywhere else. Um, so I actually have two of these guys. Now this one is the gun that actually got me started on World War II rifles because when I bought it, it didn't have any of these windings on it. Um, and the guy said it was for a grenade launcher. I didn't believe him and I googled it and I thought I'm going to restore this. I made a really bad job of it, but nevertheless, this is the gun I'm going to use uh, with the grenade cut. Here's the grenade cut. Now, you note that it's got a little slot here which fits into the bayonet lug to make sure it locates properly in the barrel. And it's got this little thing here, which is to, presumably, to set the range by letting out different amounts of uh, gas, which I shall start with that fully open to make sure I don't blow myself up. Okay. So, first thing to put this on, you have to loosen this off and that lets these little claws come out wide enough and you simply stick it on the front like that, get it in position and then you wind that on and there we are, there it is, the grenade launching cup on the end of the rifle, thank you